So this is the focus on you guys have all been waiting for, I'm assuming. This is a focus on two-step equations themselves. I've done a focus on, on how to solve two-step equations, but we're going to take a focus on two-step equations and isolating a variable in the two-step equation right now. So as we learned in the last couple of parts, Basically, we've we've been really like looking at how negative numbers work. Negative numbers work. How to add them, subtract them, divide them, multiply them, and you know, such as such. And that's basically all you really need to know for pre-algebra, as of right now. Later on, we we're gonna get into a little bit of um, a conundrum when we conundrum I think is the word. Anyways, uh, a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going for tech advanced words. We're gonna get into a little bit of a problem when we work with exponents. We have to clarify a couple things, but that is a different tutorial for a different day. As of right now, let's just focus on this equation. Why don't we? So now, let's say we have the following two-step equation: two y minus seven equals. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of a number. We'll make it um, 62. Why not? Um, now, as you recall, uh, the opposite of PEMDAS is what we use for these, um, you know, which is what we use for these variables. And I know I've been saying this a lot, but it's, it's subtraction and addition first, then multiplication and division, then exponents, then parentheses. But you don't really use parentheses. So it's sad me instead of sad map. <laughs> I don't know. But um, first step is to add 7. And in, in, in essence, what we're doing is, let's say, um, you know, when we say we're adding 7 to both sides, we're basically, um, like, like I said before, we're basically taking this, taking this um, thingy and assuming that we're basically, another way of saying this is 2y plus negative 7 equals 62. So basically by saying we're adding 7, we are basically, like I showed you guys before, adding the tally marks, so to speak, to this so that these cancel out. So we're adding plus, po add plus, um, adding positive 7. So these two add out. We're adding positive 7 as opposed to adding negative 7. And that those two cancel out. But we have to do one side, we do the other side. So now we get 69 equals 2y. And I basically just you know, you guys know what to do that and do 69 divided by 2. I just wanted 69 as the answer. Sue me. Anyways, um, this also works. Let's say we had, you know, like I said before, that 2y plus 7 equals 3y plus 2. Now, remember what we said was we had to isolate, we had to get the variable on one side and the, um, the, the answer on the other side. Now we can do things like subtracting 3y on both sides. First step, we can we can subtract or add. Since, uh, quick note, since this is um uh, addition and addition both all the way, we basically have the our free permission to do subtraction and addition. Uh, you know, as much as we want interchangeably, there's no set rule or reason to it. And you know, first we have to finish off all the subtraction and addition before we move on to multiplication. Obviously, um, another major thing you can subtract a multiplication problem. I don't know if I haven't said have said this yet. You can you can do this. This is technically allowed. Uh, if you don't understand it, you will, um, as we start to delve deeper and deeper, like I said, you guys wouldn't have understood this if you guys had just left it my, left out my tutorial earlier. No, you persisted. You, 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 you followed through it. So what we do now is we get negative y plus 7 equals 2. And we don't have to add the positive 2. We can just leave the record 2. Now, what we want to do now is get rid of 7 off of both sides. We can just have y by itself. So what we're going to do is have negative, now this becomes negative y equals negative 5. And, okay, I wanted to do this wrap so I could basically explain this. When you have y equals 5, it is basically like saying 1y equals 5. The, 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 hit, the 1 is a hidden coefficient. Okay, now that, that, that leads me to my next point. A coefficient is simply put the number next to the variable. For example, 4. This is considered the coefficient. It's whatever's being done to the variable. I don't know what that was. Anyways, and another example of a coefficient is in this, the constant that's um, with the variable. And 
of something will always have a coefficient, even if you're multiplying two variables together. Like let's say we wanted to do um, this, this, this thing, x, y. Th this doesn't have a coefficient, so you think no. We can always add one to um of, to to this, and it, it'll be like saying, okay, let's say x is two and y is three. Two times three is six. Six times one is still six. So one can one is the all one is always a coefficient. The same goes if we wanted to do negative x y. One is still a coefficient because you know, like we learned, even if you if you add uh one. To this, if you add a negative number to a positive number, okay. Basically, this is okay. I, I, I'm really going off on a tangent. This is considered to be one x y, and we want to make this negative, right? Well, what we learned in the last part with about multiplication is if you add a positive and a negative number, the resulting number is negative. So basically, in one x y, to make it negative, we just multiply this by negative one, and this would get us negative one x y. And in pre-algebra, as you learned, we don't really need to include that one. We can just say negative x, y. And it's assumed that that one is a coefficient. So going back to this equation, it is assumed that negative one is the coefficient. And we want to make sure that one is just the coefficient to that variable. One is the only constant being done to that variable. One is the only thing you can do. Right now, one is not the only thing that's happening. We're doing it by negative one. Negative numbers aren't good enough. We got to have it to be regular one. So what we do is we divide by negative 1 on both sides. And this will net us y equals 5. Because, you know, y, negative y divided by negative 1, negative 1 y divided by negative 1 gets you just plain old y. Because negative 1 divided by negative 1, well, the negatives will cancel out. Because like I said, when you're dividing two negative numbers, it results in a positive number. So basically we're saying negative 1 y divided by negative 1, okay, it just becomes 1 y. And negative 5 divided by negative 1, this just becomes like changing the sign, changing the sign, and we get 5. And if we plug this back in to check and see if it's true or not, we get 2 times 5, which is basically 10, plus 7 is 17. So 17 should be, it should return as true statement. So 17 should be on the other side. Let's check this out. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2, huh? Would you look at that? 17. So we get a big old check mark for this equation because it works. So yeah, this has been a focus up on um, negative on how to use integrate negative numbers and how much we just needed to use learn about what negative numbers were before we started um, two step equations. You should be fairly confident with two step equations right now, and uh, because you know you you better be at least because we're going to be moving on to really applying two step equations and we're going to be looking at uh, how to just work around with it. Um, see you guys next time.